What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV and today we are going to show you around the top 15 beaches in the United States. Let's begin. Coming in at the top of the list, we're headed out to the Florida Panhandle to Panama City and their silica white sandy beaches. The white sand out here is known as some of the whitest sand, the most pure, soft, silky white sand you will get anywhere in the world bar none. But Panama City offers a bit more than just white sand. Warm coastal, Gulf of Mexico water, plenty of entertainment and restaurants along the water making this part of Florida one of the premier destinations in the United States also known as the Emerald Coast. Also great fishing here. You can do offshore fishing in a boat, inshore pier fishing, beach fishing and other types of kayak and paddleboard fishing so many options in the Gulf of Mexico with a wide variety of fish All right, next up, we're headed out to the Hawaiian island chain to the island of Maui. We're gonna head out to McKenna Beach, also known as Big Beach and Little Beach. This beach sits on the slopes of the west side of Haleakala, the biggest volcano on the island of Maui. But there's also several calderas right near this beach. Big Beach is known for its massive shore breaks which attract bodyboarders and body surfers alike. But do be aware when the swells are pumping, Big Beach gets going. Now if you did head over to Little Beach, let's just say clothing is optional on that side. And as you can see, there's two lifeguard towers. So this beach, really a fantastic beach on the island of Maui. All right, let's head over to the continental United States to Southern California, Newport Beach. Some of you may actually already know about Newport Beach because of the famous surf spot from the jetty known as the Wedge, which you can see here right now, but the waves are not pumping. So this is actually the entrance to Newport Bay and the actual beach of Newport Beach has two piers, the Newport Beach Pier and the Balboa Pier. When you visit Los Angeles metropolitan area, this is the beach that most people go to to relax and have fun on this very long coastal boardwalk and beach area. Lots of restaurants and entertainment in a nice, relaxing, peaceful way. All right, now we're headed back over to Florida, the Sunshine State. We're headed to Clearwater Beach in the Tampa Bay metro area, but actually facing the Gulf Coast of Florida. As you'll notice, the Gulf Coast of Florida is where the great beaches in the state of Florida are located, Clearwater being one of them. In fact, TripAdvisor ranked Clearwater Beach as the number one beach in the United States. Now, I wouldn't go so far as to say that, having been to many of these beaches myself, in fact, all of these beaches myself, I would say Clearwater Beach though is amazing. It's a good place to go for families and it's a resort community uh, where you can really let your hair down and relax, go out for some drinks at night. Just a really fun place. And what would a list of the best beaches in America be without including South Beach, Miami Beach, down there in South Florida? Whether you come to Miami Beach to catch up on some sun rays or people watch at Muscle Beach, some people just like to walk up and down the road and see what's going on on Ocean Drive. That's where they have plenty of dining and entertainment lots of caribbean style tango dancing salsa samba cha-cha you name it they got it down here in miami beach and don't forget about mouth-watering beverages and great sunsets 
South Beach, Miami, it's not uncommon to see celebrities down here dining at one of the local restaurants also. Alright, we're going to change it up a bit and head up to the PNW, the Pacific Northwest, Cannon Beach, Oregon. This beach coastal town is known for this iconic rock. Known as Haystack Rock. It's a 230 foot sea stack in Cannon Beach. It's also commonly known as the third tallest such intertidal structure in the world, according to some locals. Great sunsets and incredible summer temperatures are what draw people to this part of Oregon. You can come here during the winter as well. Cannon Beach is more of the laid back kind of experience that you're going to get at a beach like this. Also hiking to the caves, checking out the tide pools, and really just kind of taking it easy, walking around the downtown area where the galleries are. But you can see just how scenic this beach really is. And if there was ever a beach for people from Portland to go, Cannon Beach, Seaside Beach, this is where they all go. All right, next up on the list, we're heading back out to the middle of the Pacific to the island of Oahu in the Hawaiian Islands, Waikiki. Waikiki might just be the surfing capital of the world because this is where Duke Kahonamaku taught the world to surf longboards. The friendly gentle waves are a great way to learn how to surf. But besides surfing, there's so much more to do down on Waikiki Beach. And as you can see, there's plenty of high rise hotels and shopping centers that people like to check out alongside Diamond Head Volcano and the actual lagoon where Hilton is located. Waikiki truly is paradise, whether you're spending an afternoon here or walking along the beach under a full moon, you really get the feeling that Waikiki is something special. All right, guess who's back on the list? The Gulf Coast of Florida with Siesta Key. This here is outbound towards the Gulf of Mexico from Sarasota, Florida. Snowbirds flock to Siesta Key. Also, so do reality TV shows as some of you may already know. But when the snowbirds come into town, sometimes they don't even go back home. They love it so much, they'll even stay through the humid summers. But look how beautiful beaches are, the white sand, lots of shells, lots of relaxation, and plenty of sunshine. And if you guys are enjoying this United States beach travel guide, please do consider liking the video and subscribing to this channel as we continue to show you guys around. Oh, and did I mention great fishing in Siesta Key? All right, headed back up to the Florida Panhandle to Destin along the Florida coast. This area here is literally an hour away from Panama City Beach. For those of you who want to do two for one in one strike, you can get Destin and Panama City in the same trip. Although it's known as the world's luckiest fishing village, this place is the prime time destination if you're looking for relaxation and great resorts. It is a bit more expensive than Panama City Beach, but there's good reason for that. Now we're headed back down to Southern California to Mission Beach, just south of Pacific Beach in the San Diego area. Mission Beach is a laid back family beach for people who like to go to SeaWorld, 
and other attractions that are just nearby, but Mission Boulevard is lined with cafes and eateries. This is where people go if they want to get a beach condo right there in the middle of it all, not to mention Belmont Parks right nearby. Also, people like to hang out on the Mission Bay, which is just across the road from Mission Boulevard on the other side. Now we're gonna really mix it up and surprise some people by putting the beaches in the Chicago metro area on here. You could pick any of them, but Ohio Street Beach seems to be the most popular beach here on Lake Michigan. So this is right here in downtown Chicago. They've got beaches right there on that lake. And what better way to beat that Chicago humidity and heat wave in the summertime than going down here to Lake Michigan walking along the boardwalk, checking out the pier at Navy Pier, doing whatever you guys really want to do on the water. It's all available right there in Chicago. All right, now we're going to add the spring break destination of Padre Island, in particular, South Padre Island. This place is popular because you can drive up and down the beach for miles and miles with no issue. It might not be the best beach on the list for swimming, but in terms of hanging out and doing beachside activities out of your vehicle, tailgating, whatever you like to do, Padre Island is the place to go for sure. And we can't forget about the Empire State. Let's talk about Coney Island. So Coney Island has a real boardwalk, meaning the boardwalk is made of wood. We could have mentioned the Jersey Shore over Coney Island, but the reason that we like Coney Island is because of the history that comes from this area. And you can see the beach itself is actually quite attractive and interesting. Lots of beachgoers go here to beat that sweltering humidity and heat that New York City does get. But who could forget Coney Island Hot Dog. And don't forget to subscribe to Island Hopper TV if you haven't already done so. And you can see the old amusement park is still there known as Luna Park. Next up is the Laguna Beach in Orange County, California. Another reality TV hotspot, but there's so much more to Laguna Beach than reality TV. You could see very scenic, lots of palm trees, many different beaches line this coastline, headed all the way down towards Dana Point. So this area here is special. All right, now we're heading back out to Hawaii to the big island, Apuna Beach State Park. Now, if there was ever a beach that was my favorite in all of the country, this one's going to be up there among probably the top three. I will be keeping my first two secret unless you guys push me for them at a later date. If you guys enjoy videos just like this and you want more compilations, please let me know in the comments. Also, let me know your favorite beach. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.